Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Rhodes College Sports Update. I'm Jeffrey Livesey. It was a busy weekend this weekend for the Lynx, and we'll start off with the men's basketball team, which was in St. Louis for the first few games of their season. The men lost on Saturday to number 11 ranked Washington University in a tough game, but responded great on Sunday with a 78 50 victory over Fontbonne University. The Lynx were led by junior guard Drew Miller, who had 12 points, and senior guard Johnny Dunavant, who had 11 points and 5 assists. The women's basketball team also kicked off their season this weekend with two home victories. The Lynx defeated Blackburn College on Saturday, 90-63, and were led by sophomore forward Simone Daniels, who had 18 points and 11 rebounds. On Sunday, the Lynx beat Russ College 72-55. Preseason All-American Lauren Avant took over the game with 41 points, 8 rebounds, and 7 assists. That performance earned Lauren Avant the SAA Player of the Week. Rounding out our winter sports, the men's and women's swimming and diving team were in action in Kentucky this weekend. The men's team suffered a tough loss, but a bright spot was provided by senior Matt Washnack, who took home victories in both the 50 and 100 meter freestyles. The women improved a 4-0 on the season with a win over Lindsey Wilson College, 136-66. Blinks were led by several great individual performances and capped off the meet with a win in the 200 relay by Madison Sears, Abby May, Alec Marshman, and Kelsey Wilson. In championship news, the Lynx football team had what has been called their biggest victory in over 25 years with a 49-30 win over Millsaps College, earning them a share of the SAA conference title. The Lynx handed Millsaps their first loss of the season and also knocked them out of playoff contention. Rhodes was led offensively by his sophomore quarterback Blake Fox, who rushed for three touchdowns while passing for one. Running back Dane Wilson also had a great game for the Lynx, rushing for a score and passing one to tight end Charles Schneider. Defensively, Rhodes was led by its sophomore linebacker Michael Shield, who recorded nine tackles, blocked an extra point, and had two interceptions, one of which he took back for a score. That performance earned Shield SAA Player of the Week. The Lynx finished the season ranked 39th nationally with an 8-2 record, which was one of their best records in over 25 seasons. That's it for this week's sports update. I'm Jeff Lindsay. Until next week, keep rolling, Lynx.